I feel like I can get on a roller coaster with this wig and she will stick with me to the end. to the channel it's your girl Nini and today I am showing you guys a styling video and how exactly I thin out wigs that are just a little bit too thick for me giving you an example on this new wig by sensational I have her in a very specialty color so I'm really excited I hope you guys are too if you are new to this channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button we would love to have you join us and if you are one of my home girls home girls home girls what's good what's popping what's up welcome back to the channel thank you for all your love and support so if you guys could please give me a thumbs up on this video and share this video most importantly so that we can reach more people and to show your support in my hard work okay so without further ado let's get this wig review popping 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 yes puffy the wig is on this side I haven't done anything to this side and then this is the side that I just put the heat on so I definitely feel like putting heat automatically brings down some of that thickness like even look at the hairline like look how puffy this is it's like a hill like oh okay let's keep going Okay, guys so this is the side that I did complete thinning out and I love the way that this looks and feels now not that this side was bad but it actually feels a, a lot more coarse on this side and it's just super huge not that this thickness is not bad but I kind of like it a little bit thinned out a little bit the density feels a lot better on this side and it's just more towards my liking so Hopefully you guys can see the difference. I know I definitely can see the difference. Both sides are beautiful, but this is more comfortable for me with this unit being longer. guys I am officially ready to talk to you about this wig and I'm gonna start off by just going over the details sliding into my pros and cons and then easing into Nini's thoughts okay that's when I give you the real tea up down round and around I let you know if it's trash treasure or if you just need to save your money period once again this is by sensational this is their new curls kinks and Co's alpha one I said Co's curls kinks and co alpha woman and i have her in the color flamboyage blonde now i was skeptical about the colors period and i wanted to try one that i didn't see out there a lot on the white tee so i decided to try fam fam boyage with these these names fam blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Flamboyage blonde and we'll just go ahead and start with the color so the color gives you highlights of this lighter blonde with some mixes of you know more neutral colors this looks kind of like some 30 in here and then on the root it is a natural shade i would say that the root is kind of pushing between a two and a four so you have a dark root and then you have these hints of blonde i do like the color i think that it's very cute and i think that it's very subtle so i already showed you guys the construction of the wig this is what the stock card is looking like and if you did not see my review on the sister to this wig boss babe and all of the 
craziness <laughs> that we went through. You guys, I compared Boss Babe in two different colors and there was a very dramatic difference. So if you are thinking about getting Boss Babe, spending your heart on coins, make sure that you watch that video first because there are a lot of things you need to know. Okay, so I will link that up here somewhere and make sure you guys check that out before you buy. And this is a natural texture wig. So the constructions are very, very similar. We're gonna go ahead and talk about how I thin this wig out to make it more manageable for me. Now, this wig was very, very thick. The parting was very, very thick and tight. So I did end up plucking the parting and of course I did add pressed powder. I actually use setting powder, which may be a little weird for you guys. I don't know if everybody uses that. I don't know if it's like a normal thing, but it works for me. And so that's what I used in my parting space. It does come with curly baby hairs, just like Boss Babe wig does as well. This time I decided to straighten the baby hairs and go ahead and put some heat to the wig. And then from there, I started thinning this wig out. So the reason why I thinned it out, you guys, I do think that it's a beautiful texture, but I wanted to see if I could make it a little bit more comfortable for me. The thickness was just a little overwhelming and I really didn't like it with the length that Alpha Woman was. So I went and use a combination of heat. I also use my thinning comb. I don't even know if that's what you call it, girl, but that's what we're gonna call it today. This is what it looks, mm, child, hold up, let's still got hair in it. <laughs> This is what the comb looks like. It is a thinning comb and I will link one below, but this thing is really, really important for you to have if you are a regular wig wearer because this will save your life, okay? Like this will really help you out in your time of need. It's very, very simple process of thinning this wig that I went through. All I did was go through and try to do it at a minimum, but go in sections of three, which I showed you guys, and comb through the hair now i tried to go about mid length and then down i don't really want to get at the root and start thinning but when doing that it really made a huge difference in this wig and i absolutely love this wig now so the heat definitely helped to calm down the thickness a little bit especially right here in the middle area i don't know why here to the crown it's like extremely thick and then it's kind of thinner towards the ends but either way the methods that i use in order to thin my wig one it was very easy i feel like if you or a beginner wig wearer you will be able to do that process and then two it was very very quick and I love the results the wig feels a lot lightweight it feels just more manageable and it honestly moves a little bit better as well like it's giving me some flip action like y'all know I like my wig to move with me like when I move you move just like that I don't like a stiff wig at all and it was giving me stiff vibe now I did style it a couple ways just to give you some versatility is that even a word? I've been saying that all the time and I just don't even know if that's a word. Is that a word? Just to give you guys some diversity, we'll say that. Just to give y'all some diversity, right now I have it in a top knot and I simply just took some hair from the sides because it's not a free parting type of wig so you just have that middle parting but I did take some hair from the sides and go ahead and put it in a hair bow into a ponytail at the top in the middle and then from there I took some hair from the back like we used to do back in the day we was blending our half wigs girl make a little swirly swirl yes honey and I wrapped that hair around the hair bow so you can't really see the hair bow and I just pulled the hair to the side so you can't see the tracks um, from where you pulled up to your ponytail and it looks really good. I initially tried to do the bun, but it was just not enough hair and it was just like, no. But the ponytail, I could rock with the ponytail. I could rock with the ponytail. Like, this is really, really cute. Now, those baby hairs did catch me off guard because they are curly, but the units are straight. But it does take to heat well, so you can go ahead and put heat on your baby hairs and go ahead and straighten them things out, and it's really not an issue. So, I did not lay much of a baby hair with Boss Babe, but I did for Alpha Woman, and I think it lays very beautifully and as far as this color another thing i love that the dark root is really evident right up in here so even when i split the hair to make a ponytail it's not like bam like straight blonde colors right here it looks more natural because the dark root is all throughout the wig from the top to the bottom even down here as you can see and i definitely think sensational did a good job at making sure that it was all throughout the wig so even if you decide to style it it still looks real because nobody's gonna believe that this is coming from right here this blonde 
It don't need to start right here. It needs to start right down here. As far as shedding and tangling, I have not had issues with either, especially after I started thinning and putting heat to this wig. Those issues I don't feel like are going to be a big thing for this wig. The cap size is big head friendly, but it is very secure. Like I feel a little tightness around the temple area. It's giving me a little bit of a pulse. So just keep that in mind. It does come with combs and adjustable straps. I won't be using either of those because I feel like I don't need it because I'm already getting a snatch feeling like this wig is on my scalp it's not going anywhere so i'm not worried about that at all i feel like i could get on a roller coaster with this wig and she will stick with me to the end so overall i do like this textured lace wig i definitely need you guys to hop in the comments and let me know do you like this better in alpha woman or do you like the textured wig boss babe better and i will put my answer in the comment below so go ahead and head down there check it out and chat with me Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure that you share it so we can share the love, share the knowledge, and grow this channel. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you later. Bye!